So today I'm gonna to be using the Unirac NXT system on my roof. It's just a brand that I trust and I've worked with for years. A lot of people prefer flashed feet um, and any, any real solar attachments are, are rated to last and not leak over time. The problem is human error. So with, um, with flashed feet, you know, you're basically taking a pry bar. You, you know, you, first you have to find the rafter, pre-drill, make sure you're hitting the rafter on center Oftentimes you miss and you've got a bunch of pilot holes that you've got to seal up with flashing. So a lot of times those get missed and that's probably the number one source of roof leaks in the solar industry is pilot holes that have been drilled in the roof that are then not properly flashed and sealed. Um, next, you've got a, for flash feet, you've got to pry up the shingles. A lot of times the flashing is going to hit nails on the next row up. So you've got to pry those nails out and pull them out. And all that really just damages the integrity of the roofing system. You're removing nails that hold the shingles in. You're oftentimes going to break your shingles or rip them. And then at that point, the kind of the flashing is really, in my opinion, a little bit useless. You know, if it, it's great in theory if there was no human error and everybody was perfect and you would perfectly flash every attachment every time. But in reality, that just doesn't happen. So what I've got here is the Unirac Stronghold Butyl Attachment. The beauty about this is you do not have to pry shingles, pull nails. It's polybutylene. This has been trusted in the roofing industry for over 50 years. Um, and basically, you don't have to pre-drill any holes. So there's never any chance of missing a pilot hole and having that leak into your house. So with the Unirac Stronghold Butyl, you come through, you find your attachments. So again, I've measured these out. But in my, you know, for someone that, that, that basically you mark your edge of your panels, you come in and you try to find the rafter and you can hear the rafter, right? It's gonna be real, real uh, kind of hollow sounding. And then as you get to your rafter, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a lot more solid. So you can kind of figure out where your rafter is. It kind of has a little more bounce to it, kickback. Um, once you kind of get used to it, it's pretty easy. But anyways, you find your rafter, you mount the attachment, um, you use two screws to lag it into the rafter. And if you miss, you go to the next two holes where you think you're gonna hit that rafter. If you, hit, if you miss on the next two, well, you just sink all six screws into the attachment and you leave it deck mounted. Um, and that way, hey, you never have any missed holes to seal up. It just uh, preserves the integrity of your roof much better than, in my opinion, a flashed foot will. Now, a couple things you may want to note. Uh, technically, you're not supposed to straddle the edge of a shingle. So, you know, in some cases, um, they do sell little extra butyl pads where you can put additional butyl below. Uh, another thing is you can move it. So you can use any two holes on here again. So in this case where I've got this shingle edge, I can line it up right with the edge there and try to hit that. Um, and then again, you know, if, if I happen to miss and, and it's not this way, I can just sink all six and call it a deck mount. All right, and that was solid as a rock you can just tell when you're in a rafter it really locks in um, when you miss it's going to go in real easy and it might spin so in this case i've nailed the rafter dead center and you really just want to screw these in till they seat you know you want them tight and you want that washer seated against the attachment but you don't want to lock it down so tight that that, that neoprene washer blows out and kind of sticks out of the side. That'll cause premature failure of the uh, neoprene washer. All right, and I can feel that one sort of curve off the edge of the rafter. Again, I know it's to the right here. I'm gonna just sink one more in for good measure. <laughs> 